Destrehan High School students are finally returning to their physical classrooms today. Nearly five months since mm. Hurricane Ida devastated that region, wreaking havoc on their school and its facilities. A long time coming. It's certainly been a hard road of recovery for many crews in St. Charles, getting things back online slowly but surely. And as WDSU reporter Heath Allen shows us this morning, the students back in the classroom ready to return at Destrehan today. Heath, good morning. And a good morning to you. Yeah, it's a return, uh, return home, if you will, for the Wildcats here at Destrehan High School. And as you say, this has not been an easy road. Of course, Hurricane Ida rolling through on August the 29th, doing some significant damage here to Destrehan High School. Of course, the roof was ripped open, water poured into this facility. In fact, across St. Charles Parish, really every campus had some sort of damage. Students here actually had to platoon with Hanville High School. They were going on alternate days there. But after weeks of intense work, really about $10 million worth of work, Kids returned to Destrehan High School just a little bit later on this morning. With Destrehan High School, the, the main building, the roof had collapsed. So there was pretty significant damage to the uh, internal structures of that building. Uh, so currently we have repaired and made temporary walls uh, around part of that structure so that we can return the rest of the facility uh, to a functional state to return our students. It's been a long, long road when you start adding on top of, of Hurricane Ida and the disruption there. Of course, you had COVID over almost two years now of disruption in the school, trying to learn virtual learning, platooning in and out of the classroom, masks, the whole the home uh, shooting match. Today, things kind of get back to normal here at Destrehan High School. The Wildcats got an opportunity to return to class. Back to you. So exciting. He down there for us. Thank you out of St. Charles Parish.